Here we have a 2005 Toyota Yaris T3 diesel in silver. The car is showing signs of age as you see throughout the video. If you start with the offside front tyre, you got a good 4 to 5 mil of tread there. As you can see, the hub cap has come off and uh, quite a lot of rust there to the actual um, alloy itself. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, you've got a few light dinks on the driver's door. Apart from that, no dents or any major damage. A few touchings required around the arches, you can see a few stone chips there. You know, the plastic mirrors with a few light scratches to them. Looking at the driver's door, again just a few light scratches and a couple of stone chips towards the bottom. And you can see a couple of light scratches there. They just require polish, they're very light so you should be able to fetch out no problem. A few minor little chips down the door edge which require some touchings. And again just a few light scratches around the driver's door. Um, as you can see a few light dinks like I said. Just two, one above the other. Even towards the offside rear quarter, again, just a few light scratches, nothing too major. Look on the rear tyre, you've got a good 4mm of tread there. Look on the hubcap, um, it is firmly on there. There is quite a lot of scratches and marks, as you can see. No signs of any cracks, though, or major damage. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, it's the D4 diesel, sorry, uh, T3. Um, no dents or any major damage um, to the uh, boot itself. Um, look on the rear bumper though, as you can see, it's going to require a whole new uh, paint job to the back. It's all cracking, there's a large patch here where it's really come off and gone right down to the bodywork there. Um, so all the way along here you've got scratches and a lot of cracking of the paint, so it's going to need a whole respray there. Um, so do bear of that. Look in the boot again. You can see you've got your parcel shelf there. Right, it's not in too bad condition in the back of the vehicle there. Move around to the near side rear quarter. Uh, look on the near side rear tyre. You've got a good four to five mil, so plenty of tread there. Look on the uh, rear hub cap here. Not too bad condition at all, really. A couple of light scratches, as you can see, a bit of scuffs to the bottom, but no signs of any cracks or any damage there. Looking on the near side again, a few light dinks in the door. But no signs of any dents or any major damage. Quite a few like scratches again, just require some polish. As you can see all around the paintwork here. A couple of minor chips on the door edge. And just showing you a small dink there on the door line, as you can see. Again, not too bad for its age. Again, a few light like scratches to the wind mirror. And the front tyre here has got around 4mm as well. So all four tyres have got plenty of tread left. And the front hub cap here, again, just a few light scratches to the hubcap itself but no signs of any cracks or any major damage there move around to the front of the vehicle, a few stone chips to the front again just require some touchings the same to the bonnet as you can see some stone chips dotted around here and there uh, no signs of any major damage though to the bumper and again just a few st stone chips to the front bumper itself um, take a look inside the vehicle as you can see, you've got the uh, full cloth interior. Looking at the driver's seat, it does appear to be in good condition with no signs of any damage, no rips or tears at all there. And uh, flicking the seat back, you can see the back seats are in nice condition as well. Had a good look, no, no damage at all, no rips, tears to the cloth. Just actually in not bad condition. A couple of scratches to the plastics around there though. And the same to the front passenger seat as well. No damage at all to that. Dashboard etc is um, quite tidy, no real damage or marks, and the steering wheel is not in bad condition at all. Now, um, taking a look inside the vehicle, you do get two sets of keys with the car as you can see, and if we just get the car started, as you can see, it starts first time with no issues at all. And um, looking at the display there, 115,282 miles on the clock. And no symbols at all appearing that you need to be aware of at all. Looking at your system, you've got your radio, which works perfectly fine. Sounds great, everything uh, works exactly how it should. Heated rear window, etc. No problems at all with any of the blowers, but no sign of any air conditioning. Um, also, we've got a CD player there as well. Manual transmission. Taking a quick look at the documents. As you can see, the cars have three owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, September 30th there, 2014. So plenty of paperwork with the vehicle. And we have got a full partial franchise service history. You can see quite a few done at Toyota itself. 
13, 24, 39, 50, 59, 69, 77. Not sure what mileage is there, 8th 11th 2012, and he lasts on there 106,000 miles. So you can see quite a few Toyota stamps and a couple of non franchise. There we go, guys, it's got all the paperwork it requires. It's the 2005 Toyota Yaris T3 diesel. Um, great on fuel, to be fair. Um, but as you can see, it is showing signs of its age on the outside of the vehicle. Nice and clean on the interior, though. And for its age, it's not a bad looking car at all.